Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jacob Slanix with Chevy CLE Auto Reviews. And today, behind me, we have the 2023 Chevy Traverse with the Midnight Edition. So I'm gonna go over what the Midnight package gets you on this vehicle. I'm also gonna go over the LT trim level, what you get options and feature wise. So be sure to like this video, comment your thoughts on the Midnight Edition Traverse, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna dig right into this vehicle. This is your 2023 Chevy Traverse Midnight Edition. As I mentioned before, the Traverse was refreshed in the 22 model year, and it has done fantastic since we got it. Uh, we cannot keep these things in stock. So we're gonna dig in right to what the Midnight Package gets you. So the Midnight Package, or also called the Sport Edition, um, that basically with the Midnight, it's if it's the black exterior, it would be a Sport Edition if it was a different color, like the red, the blue, that type of thing. So it comes with the 18 inch wheels, gloss black, looks sweet. You got that black grill with the black bow tie there in the center. Just giving you that sporty vibe that a lot of people like, especially on their SUVs right now. We love the look of these things. So LED headlights, you got that daytime running light strip right there. You got the headlight down towards the bottom there, kind of like the blazer look, which has been fantastic since we had that come out. Love the look of that black bow tie. The Midnight package just looks fantastic on the Traverse. Love the black wheels. Love the black accents. You got the black Traverse lettering there on the side. So it looks good. So on the Traverse, nothing's really changed as far as like the powertrain. You still have the 3.6 liter V6 producing about 310 horsepower. It's a nine speed automatic. Still available in a front wheel drive or all wheel drive. This one specifically is the front wheel. They still make the LS, the LT, which this is an LT right here. The RS, the Premier and the High Country on the Traverse. So super cool. And they do still have, as you can see, the Midnight Package available as well as the Redline Edition on the Premier trim. So that's super cool. You can get the leather or the cloth interior on the Traverse, just pending the trim levels that you're looking at. We're gonna go ahead and come to the back here. One thing I loved about the 22 model year is they changed these taillights and I, I don't know what it is about them, but I just love the look of it. it. Just looks more sporty and aggressive. You got the dual outlet exhaust down there at the bottom, looks good. You got that black Traverse lettering and that black bow tie. Love the look of that, and then the LTs in the corner over here. So this does have the LT convenience package on it. So it's got the powered lift gate. So we're gonna go ahead and engage it just by hitting this right under here. It's gonna go ahead and raise up. Of course, with the Traverse, you do have your third row seating here. So you got your three rows. You can see this one does have the captain's chairs, which most LTs will, unless you order it without. So you have this. You go ahead and pull these straps on the back. That is how you would lower your third row. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get both of them. That one gets stuck, but you can see 60-40 split. You can fit tons of things in here. Looks good, tons of space. And then if you open up this little storage pocket here, you have another storage area. And this one's deep. Like, I don't know if the video kind of picks it up, but it is very deep. You can fit a lot of things in there. You got a 12 volt back here. As you can see in the third row, you have the USB ports there in the corner, super cool. And then you can actually go ahead and pull these straps right back up and it'll lock back into place, making it nice and easy to fold that down if you need it or pull it back up if you don't. So nice, roomy, spacious, still a good amount of room back here um, a lot of people think that the bigger suvs like the tahoe and stuff have more space the traverse actually has a little more than the tahoe believe it or not so we're going to go ahead and push this right here this will lower the tailgate which you can open from the inside of the vehicle now opening the passenger door here as you can see as i mentioned you have the captain's chairs for your second row here you got the armrest there you can fold these up fold those up and it makes it easy to get in and out. I'm gonna go ahead and run over to the other side to show you also another easy way of getting into the Traverse. 
So we're going to open up the door here. And this is only on this side. You have this handle here that you can pull. And it actually brings the seat all the way forward. Making it a lot easier to get in and out of. So I'm going to go ahead and actually hop in the third row for you guys. So we're back here. I'm just going to get behind this seat here. Now, of course, I'm about six foot, so third row vehicles don't always work best for me. Um, but we do have some space. We're right up to the back. You got that USB. You got some like cup holders, storage here on the side. So super cool. There's your front cabin. Up here, you do have a couple more USB ports, a little storage cubby. And then you do have access to turn up like the AC and the heat for the passengers. So you got auto, auto mode, the temperature, and the fan speed there on the side. So we're going to go ahead and jump out of the back here. We're going to go ahead and push this back. It's going to lock back into place just like this here. And just so you guys know, you do have the ability to pull this down here and move the seat back and forth. So you can push that, move it back and forth, and the seats do lay flat as well. So... If you want to lay something inside the vehicle, you got plenty of space to put things in. And this just push back up and locks back in. Nice and easy, plenty of space. And you can also get the bench seat with the LS model here, okay? Alrighty, so here's your front cabin of the Traverse. So as mentioned, you can get cloth or leather, but this one is the cloth interior. So you got that with the LT with the convenience package. You have your powered seating here. So move back and forth, recline, and then lumbar support. You have your mirrors and uh, windows over here on the side. And then this is the additional powered lift gate opener, which you can actually change the setting. So it can uh, you can go three-fourths of the way for somebody that's a little bit shorter, has a hard time hitting the button. Um, you have the ability to adjust that, or you can just completely turn it off locking it. Your headlights are over here. Obviously, I leave it on auto, so you don't ever have to do anything and then hopping in here to the cabin this is your view nothing really changed as far as the interior uh, between the old generation and the new but still looks good it's still up to date you got that massive eight inch touch screen there easy to read and see you got your rpms your speed these arrows here control that middle dash so you can see your info music nav your phone settings so all really easy to read and see there you got your cruise control and then you have your front collision alert which not to mention comes standard now on the traverse it's called the chevy safety assist package so this is standard on all traverses it comes with auto emergency braking forward collision alert front pedestrian braking lane keep assist with lane departure warning it has the following distance indicator and then it has the intellibeam headlights which are right here that's the automatic headlights so super cool tons of safety turn signals wipers all easy to see and read you got your push to start with your key fob sitting right here so this is your chevy traverse key fob lock unlock convenience package gets you the remote start which you just hold this after hitting the lock and then here's another way to open up your tailgate so super cool super easy just got to have it in the vehicle for you you got your hazards here on the side you got that massive eight inch touchscreen I was telling you about. You've got AM, FM, Sirius radio. You can save your favorite stations up top there. Bluetooth, of course, we got Wi-Fi hotspots. We've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which are both wireless now on the Traverse. So that's super cool. You got like your little shortcuts of the house. You can change your channels. You can turn up the volume and then it does have the little secret storage compartment here so that's super cool you can close that and actually put it in valet mode and it locks it out so like if somebody was in your vehicle and tried to open it you got to put the special pin number in to get it you've got your climate control down here so lt convenience gets you dual zone and the heated seats which you got the three different modes here you got front rear defrosters this is where you want your air position fan speed on or off ac so all very easy to figure out and use you got two usb ports an auxiliary port a 12 volt all super nice and the new was the wireless charger that you see here 
fits most phones. I've seen it on all the bigger phones, so that is awesome. They're up to speed on that. You got the new shifter with the new model, so that looks nice. A little sportier look to it. Cup holders up front, and then you do have your different modes down here. So you can twist this to the right, and it'll go into a snow mode. Maybe. There we go. So now it's in snow mode, snow mode on. A little better traction, a little more controlled RPMs. And we're going to twist it back to normal. This is your auto stop start override. So I'm going to go and hit that. And you'll see auto stop is off now. And then this is lane keep assist, which it, you can see that little orange light turns that on or off. And it's in the corner there. So that'll keep you in your lane if you're veering in and out of it. Your emergency parking brake is right here. So comes very nicely equipped. Lots of nice options. In my opinion, this package, the LT with the confidence convenience, is your best bang for the buck. Uh, because this vehicle with that midnight package, MSRP is for around $41,000. So around $41,000 gets you the look. It gets you all the nice options. Um, here's your window sticker, 23 Traverse. You have your colors, the V6 nine-speed auto, um, all of your standard features, that confidence convenience package, which you get tons of stuff for the money. It's a $1,200, $1,300 option. Um, that midnight package is also in here as well. It's a 995 option. So 41,240. That's before any discounts, rebates. Um, I think it's a really fair price for a third row vehicle right now, especially with how this market's been. That looks fantastic and sporty and just drives fan. I just love the drive of these things. They're so comfortable. So I uh, hope you guys like the Midnight Edition Traverse. It is a good looking ride. And like I said, they just drive fantastic and they're perfect for a growing family. So I hope you guys like this video. Comment your thoughts on the Traverse. Let me know what you think on the Midnight Edition. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and like this one so we can keep it growing. So thank you again for watching. Subscribe and we'll see you for the next one.